Welcome back to my channel. Are you getting terrible download speeds? Well, with the new update released, I'm sure all of us want to get Fortnite updated quick and to try out this new update as soon as possible. Don't worry, there's an easy trick to get it boosted just like mine. And this method works for all games on Epic Games Launcher, not just Fortnite. In my example, I will be showing a small size game so I can show you guys the speed in real time without speeding anything up. In this video, I will show you 5 different methods and each method boosts the download speed in their own way. To maximize download speed, I recommend doing all 5 methods. And remember, if none of these methods work, you can always join my discord and I'll help you out. Usually it's a small problem causing it and nothing major, so do check it out if you're having a problem. Have a look at the side by side comparison of before and after. You can see that the boost changes quite drastically and can even double download speeds at times. Remember, this varies upon everyone. Some may get a slight increased download speed, while others get a great boost, but either way, it will increase the download speed, which is what you came for. Before we get into the first method, please subscribe to my channel to show you support and to get more of these videos out there. Drop a like if you found this helpful. For the first method, press the Windows key and the R key. This will bring up the run command. In the text box, write percent app data percent. Hit enter and it should open the libraries. Go back by one by going to the navigation bar and clicking up data. Then going to local. This is where all the directories are for installed files in your PC. Once you're in local, look for Epic Games Launcher and double click it. Double click saved, then config, windows and finally open the engine file. For most of you guys, it should be blank, but if there's something inside it then delete it. Using the code in the description, paste it into the engine file, overwriting anything in here. Once this is done, save the file by going into file at the top left corner, then hit save. If the asterisk symbol has disappeared, then it means you have successfully saved it. Double click it by closing the file and reopen it. The code should still be here. If not, then repeat the steps. This completes method one. For the second method, download SG TCP Optimizer. I'll leave a link down in the description for you guys. Once you're on the web page, look for the download link TCP Optimizer 4. Click it and let it download. Once it's downloaded, click the arrow and hit show in folder. Then right click it and run as administrator. If you do not open as admin, it will not let you overwrite files and you won't be able to do this step. So first and foremost, open this program in admin. Once open, look at the bottom where it says choose settings. There are three options, current, optimal and custom. Choose the custom option as we're going to be changing settings to maximize download speeds. Head to the top slider option where it says connection speed and move the slider to the max to get the highest download speeds possible. Next, under Network Adapter Selection, change it to Intel Ethernet Connection. Even if you do not have an Ethernet cable plugged in, still do this step. Then change your MTU setting to 1500. Change TCP Window Auto Tuning on Normal, Window Scaling to Disable, Congestion Control provided to CTCP, RSS and RSE to Enable. On the opposite side, put all the options as disabled but keep checksum offloading enabled. For the second part of this step, head on over to advanced settings tab. Under Internet Explorer optimization, change both of these settings to 10. Under host resolution priority, put local priority on 4, host priority on 5, DNS priority on 6 and net BT priority on 7, so in the order 4, 5, 6, 7. Under the retransmission tab, change the max sin retransmission to 2 and keep non sac on disabled. Under retransmission timeout, change initial RTO on 2000 and minimum RTO on 300. For type or quality of service, keep the top box blank and the second box, change it to optimal one. Under gaming tweak, put network on disabled, system on gaming zero, frequency on disabled one, delay on enabled one, and ticks on disabled zero. Under network memory allocation, Put large system cache on default 0, size on default 1, hit apply and restart your system to get the changes to apply. But restart at the end of all 5 methods and this brings method 2 to an end. For method 3, hit the windows key and search windows update delivery settings. Once open and you find it, you should be brought to a similar settings as shown on screen. Uncheck allow downloads from other PCs. What this means is that all internet and download speeds received by your computer only go to your computer, nothing else, 
so you receive 100% connection. This will make your download speed more stable and not only that, but if you tend to get lots of lag spikes, then this should also reduce that as well. But for Fortnite lag, a separate video will be released, so uncheck the allow downloads from other PCs and then head on over to advanced options. Select percentage of measured bandwidth option, then check both of the bandwidth boxes and move the sliders to the lowest possible. Do the exact same two options under the upload settings, check the boxes and move the sliders to the lowest possible. This is method 3 at an end. For method 4, open up the task manager. To do this, either press ctrl or delete at the same time and press task manager or press ctrl shift and escape. Mind you, the delete key is not this key which has the backspace key. It is the key with del or delete written on it. Once task manager is open, open up Epic Games Launcher and make sure it is open at all times throughout this method. Head on over to the details tab and look for Epic Games Launcher. An easy way of doing this is repeatedly pressing the letter E until you find it. Once you find Epic Games Launcher, right click it. This will bring up a bunch of options. The only option that we're interested in is the priority slider. Hover over set priority and another list of options will appear. Select high. Whatever you do, do not select real time as this will cause your PC to crash and cause a lot of problems ahead. So choose high priority and close task manager. And that brings method 4 to an end. For method 5, this is the most essential method of all in my opinion. If you have made it this far, then make sure to subscribe to my channel to show your support. And anyways, for the final method, search in the Windows search bar CMD. Right click it and run in admin mode. Once open, it should be a black prompt box with system32 currently opened. Type exactly what I type and make sure there are no typos and double check you're in admin mode otherwise this will not work. Type the following codes ipconfig space forward slash flush dns hit enter and then write ipconfig space slash register dns hit enter and then type ipconfig space slash release hit enter then type ipconfig space slash renew let it load it may take a while And then finally type net sh space win sock space reset. I'll leave the codes on screen for you two guys to copy and in the description as well. But hit enter and then type exit. And to make sure all changes apply, reset your PC. Here are the download speeds after doing all five methods. As you can see that there is a noticeable change and it's very helpful. Do all five methods for the maximum boost and that is all there is to it. If you guys are still struggling with any step, let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you. Anyways, stay tuned.